Teachers at Utah's largest high school are done taking away cell phones from students. They're trying something new in the fall, and if it works, other schools might do the same. I hope it works. New specialist Aaron Cox shows us what will be different for students come August. Educators say so many students walking into school are checking out. Sometimes we can be physically here and mentally not here. Comparing themselves on social media, chatting online, distracted by notifications. Hey, put your phone away that it could be no more than 10 seconds later that that phone's out again. It really started because teachers came to me and said, we have got to do something different. The Granite School District is implementing a district-wide policy banning cell phone use in the classroom something they hope to approve in a council meeting next week. Let's get rid of that distraction. In the past, each school determined their own policy. The new policy creates a district-wide standard. Granger High School is taking it a step further. They came up with a solution where instead of taking the device away, they'll put it in a pouch where it stays for the day. Some parents are hopeful. A magnet seals the phone pouch. Students put their phone in during first hour and unsnap it at the end of the day. I have hopes with a healthy amount of skepticism. Braden Jensen taught high school for seven years and now works as a mental health professional. His daughter will attend Granger next year. And I've just found with students that I've taught, with clients that I see, that loneliness is just such a huge thing. Depression, anxiety, panic attacks are outcomes of what Jensen says is a greater issue. Really, a cell phone gives a young person a reason not to feel. So when they're in a tough situation or when they're uncomfortable, they'll pull out that cell phone. When they're in a social situation that makes them uncomfortable, they'll pull out that phone and kind of use it as a security blanket to not feel those uncomfortable feelings. Huge changes in mental health. Hoping to help students check in again. And let's get back to learning. In West Valley City, Aaron Cox, KSL 5 News.